Sally Tisdale's advice for future corpses opens with the crushing reality and acceptance of dying. Um, she persuades you to use your imagination to foresee the future and actually picture what it would look like when it is your time to kick the bucket. Um, she asks you to imagine what season it is, what is it that you smell. She wants you to close your eyes and imagine the skin of the hand that you are holding when it happens. While Tisdale claims that this book is only a fool's advice because she, in fact, has never died, it surely opens your eyes to a different side of viewing the inevitable moment. Tisdale writes of timely deaths, but everyone's definition of timely happens to be different. You hear it often when someone passes away. Oh, they lived a good life because they lived a long life. Now, there may be some truth to that, but we know plenty of people who have lived long, horrible lives and some who have lived incredible short ones. This book makes you question things that most would never consider. What is going through a person's mind when they are dying? Do they know that they are dying? What are the thoughts going through their heads? Are they okay with dying? Are they accepting of this moment? Or possibly they could just be conscious or awake in a way that we can't grasp and they are paying close attention to everything that is happening at that moment. Um, this book basically just kind of puts it in perspective and makes you see death dying and grieving in a different um healthy healthy light i believe <laughs>